In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at uh, two different objectives in one. We're going to see if we can use modal verbs and we'll see if we can use contractions within our instructions. So we need to first of all know some modal verbs. So as part of our success criteria, we're going to see if we can name some modal verbs. We're going to see if we can identify what contractions are. And then we're going to see if we can use modal verbs and contractions to help us improve our instructions. So first question I'd like to think about is this. What is a modal verb? Now we know what a verb is. A verb is an action word, a doing word, or in instructions we can sometimes call them imperative verbs, which are bossy verbs that tell us what to do. A modal verb is kind of very kind of similar because it explains what to do, but it tells us um, how important it is to do that thing. So there are some examples of modal verbs here. We could say the word can, I can jump. It means, you know, if you want to, you can, but you don't have to. Could, we could go to the cinema tomorrow. Again, that's like a possibility. You might want to go, you might not. May and might, again, you, they may be coming to our house tomorrow. It might rain tomorrow. They're not definite things. They're things that you could do, they're options. Should, you should tell him. Now should is different because should is more of like a, mm, yeah, you probably should do that. It's not telling you you have to do it, but you should do it. It's a, like more of a possibility that you should do it. Shall. If it's dry, shall we play outside? That's like an option word. It's giving you that choice. Shall we play? Will. I will try my best. That's a definite thing. I'm going to do it. So will is much more definite than can. I can do it. I will do it. Would. My parents wouldn't give me the po uh, pocket money. Or my parents would give me the pocket money. Would is again a possibility word. Must, you must be quiet. That is no choice at all. You have to do it. There's a hundred percent definite. You must be quiet. Have to, I have to see the doctor about my leg. Again, that's the definite thing that has to happen. So can you see that sometimes the modal verbs that you put in can change the um, degree of possibility of that thing happening. So it could be something which could possibly happen like a may, a could, a might, or something that really ought to happen like should, must, have to. Those words are more definitive, more definite words. So if you're giving instructions about things that you could do, you could say you could add some extra spices. Don't have to, but that's given a choice. You must be careful with the, with the knife. That's a definite thing. You have to do that. So you have to remember that the um, the word must and the word could can be very, very different, but including those in your instructions can make it clearer as to how um, much they should follow that instruction. The second part of our objective is to do with contractions. What is a contraction? If something contra contracts, it means that it sort of becomes a little bit smaller. So in a contraction, we make a bigger thing a bit smaller. What we do is we take two words and we make them smaller by turning them into one word. We contract those words. And to contract those words, we add in an apostrophe. An apostrophe is, looks a little bit like a comma, but a comma sits on the line at the bottom, whereas an apostrophe floats up in the air. And that apostrophe can show that a letter or letters are missing from that word. I'll give you an example. If I had the word can and the word not, Cannot is two words, but I can put those words together. I can contract those words to make them become one word that means the same thing. And that would be the word can't. I take the C, the A and the N from can, and I take the T from not, and I join those two together. But notice how I've got rid of two letters, the N and the O. So because I'm getting rid of those two letters, the N and the O, I need to put an apostrophe in to contract those words together. So the apostrophe shows that the letters N and O are missing. So can't looks like this. That's now become a contraction. Let's have a go at another one. Do not. I do not want to do that. I don't want to do that. I take the D, the O and the N and the T to become don't which means the letter O is missing. So that letter O disappears and it's replaced with a, a, an apostrophe. But I need to push those words together, those letters together, so it becomes don't. 
Let's do just one more. I will. I will go to the shops. I'll go to the shops. The I and the L needs to be pushed together. So I get rid of the W and the I and I change it for an apostrophe. Any spaces in the word, I close up. So I get rid of the I and the W. I put the apostrophe there. So I will becomes I'll. Hopefully you're starting to understand contractions a little bit more. On the next page, I've got a range of either contractions or modal verbs. I'd like you to see if you can sort those words into the correct group. Which ones are contractions? Which ones are modal verbs? I'll give you a moment to pause the video and see if you can do that. Okay, let's check if you've got it correct. So I'm going to put all of the modal verbs on the right hand side, and I'm going to put all of the contractions on the left hand side. So she's, that would be she is. So that's a contraction that stays on this side. Should, that's a word that's telling you about the possibility of doing it. So that's a modal verb. I'm going to put that over here. May, I may do that. So that's a possibility word. So modal verb. Shall, I shall do that when I'm finished. Yeah, that's a modal verb as well. Let's stay over here. Could, you could use some extra spices. So that's a modal verb. Didn't, that's the words did and not contracted. So that's a contraction. I've, that's the words I and have contracted. Might, oh, that's a possibility word, isn't it? So that's a modal verb. Shouldn't, should not. So that's a contraction. Oh, do you know what though? Should is a modal verb, isn't it? So shouldn't has got should in it. So do you know what? I'm going to put that in the middle because it's kind of a mixture of both. They'll, that's a mixture of they and will. So that's a contraction. I'm, that's a mixture of I and am. So again, that's a contraction. Must, oh, that's a possibility word. Oh, that's, that's no possibility. I have to do it, a certain word. So that has to be a modal verb. Uh, we've, that is we and have together. So that's going to be a contraction. And would. Would is a possibility word, so I'm going to put that in the modal verb section. Hopefully you had yours sorted the same. I think the only one you might have had a bit, bit of difficulty with is the shouldn't one, because actually it contains a mixture of the both. It's a contraction, because it's should and not, but it's also kind of a modal verb, because it's telling you about should. It's telling you the possibility of doing something. Now for your task today, you're going to have three things to do. Thing number one, you're going to see if you can add some contractions into a set of instructions. So I've put the instructions there and I've put some uh, spaces for you to add some contractions in. Remember, contractions have to contain that apostrophe and make sure you put the apostrophe in the correct place where the missing letters are. Task two is to add in some modal verbs to, to some instructions. So there's a list of modal verbs from the previous page there. If you need to go back and have a look at that, you're more than welcome. But can you add some modal verbs into your instructions to say how definite something should be to happen in your instructions? And then for task number three, I'm going to ask you to continue the instructions. So I've given you three instructions. I'd like to see if you can continue those instructions, making sure that you include a modal verb in each of those uh, instructions. If you want to challenge yourself as well, maybe see if you can use a modal verb and a contraction in each of those uh, extra two instructions that you need to write.